uh, uh, trying to string together a couple of wins here, three games left. This is the last road game scheduled because we don't know what's going on with the the other Nebraska game. But just yeah. talk about trying to get a win for your last road uh, game of the regular season. Yeah, obviously, like you said, um, you know, we've had some really tough games there at Penn State. They're, they're a really talented team. They got a lot of good guys that can uh, make a lot of plays for them. And um, they're just a, a talented bunch. They got a lot of guys that could score, some tough guys, uh, really rebound the ball well, play defense well. Um, so, yeah, obviously it's a tough game. You got to go in there. Like you said, our last road game of the year. And, um, you know, just got to make sure that we're sharp from the jump and making sure that we, uh, you know, we got to do what we got to do to come out with a win. You've had a week to kind of digest, but, you know, finally being able to put the ball in the basket from, from three-point range in the last game, does that kind of give you the confidence boost? Was it just simply seeing the ball go in the bucket for you to, to be able to get back in the swing of things uh, for the team? Yeah, yeah, a little bit, I think so. I think, uh, like I said, I think it was just more opportunities. I think um, for me, it's it, 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 it's been really hard to get in a rhythm coming off the bench, limited minutes, and, you know, shooting it two to three times a game. Um, it's it's As a three-point shooter, it's just hard to get in that rhythm because if you miss one, then it's, you know, when's my next opportunity going to come? Um, but, you know, in that Nebraska game, I was just able to get more opportunities, more shots at the basket, and uh, – you know, I, luckily I was able to knock some down. But like I said after the game, like I, I, I said it like in a joking way, like I haven't made a shot in a month, you know, up until that point. So that's a long time to not make a basket in a game and just not be in a game. And so, uh, yeah, it was just – it gave me some confidence just to see one finally go in and just, uh, you know, continue to build confidence from there. Can you talk about – just in, when you get in the swing of the offense, the importance of making three-point shots, it sounds obvious, but the addition to you and if Jaden and other guys can consistently hit three-point shots, what can that do for this team uh, as we get into postseason play here? Yeah, it just adds a different, different element to our team that you have to, have to worry about. Obviously, you know, we have two tremendous bigs inside, ceiling always, and trying to get, trying to get easy, uh, easy post-ups. Um, but, you know, if you if you have to respect this from three, um, it just adds a different element that, you know, makes us tough to guard. And, uh, you know, we've been getting in the rim a little bit and uh, driving and kicking, and that's something that we've been really working on in practice and just, you know, trying to make sure that we, uh, you know, make the play, make the next play for your teammate and, um, you know, just kind of be ready, uh, be ready to shoot at all times and knock some threes down. You, you talked about, you know, getting opportunities. Last one for me. Um, is that simply just getting in the flow of the offense? Is that how the other teams guarding you, guarding you guys? Is it a combination of both? How does that, you know, kind of play out in the game situation for you? Yeah, I think it's kind of like all of the above. I think um, obviously the way people have been guarding me, it's a little tight, you know, closely guarded and, you know, chasing me off screens and everything. But um, but just being involved in the offense, I think limited – you know, you and you get in limited minutes, it's hard to come off the bench and just, you know, be a focal part of the offense. And, um, you know, I needed to get my legs back under me. I need to get in shape and everything uh, from my absence. But, um, but yeah, you know, the more minutes you get, Coach Man always says, the more minutes you get, the more opportunities you get as well. So, I mean, it's just, it's bound to happen. Uh, I was just able to shoot some, some open threes, some, um, you know, someone's in transition and my teammates are able to find me and drives and kicks. And so, um, yeah, that, it's a little bit all of the above, but, you know, just got to maintain that aggressive aggression and just be uh, be patient on the offensive end and um, just remain confident. Thanks, Sasha. Thank you. Brian, you got anything for Sasha? Yes, sir. Um, yeah, hey, Sasha. Uh, Matt made a comment a couple weeks ago that, while all these games here, the rest of the regular season are important. The most important thing is that you're playing really well here in a couple of weeks. I don't mean you personally. I mean the whole team. Do you see anything kind of trending behind the scenes about this team that leads you to believe you're building back up to a peak here come March or anything like that? I mean, yeah, you would like to think so. Obviously, um, you know, Coach Payne keeps saying, you know, the most important game is your next game. And uh, it's really true here, here down in the stretch and when you get into March and everything and, um, you can't look look ahead at, you know, how we want to play or anything in the tournament or, you know, Big Ten tournament, NCAA tournament. You just got to focus on the next game and uh, be our best version of ourselves the, ne the next day. And, 
you know, I think we've done that. I think we've had some really good practices. I think we've been really competitive with one another, uh, getting after getting after each other and just making sure that we're continually get better every day. And, uh, you know, you stack up practices like that and you stack up games like that. I think uh, it's going to help us in the long run. So, yeah, hopefully you would like to think so that we're, you know, we're, we're trending up and uh, hope to keep it that way. Have you viewed your own situation in that context at all that, Hey, I'm, I'm a pretty big piece of this team and I have to get right by March kind of thing or, or anything like that. I mean, yeah, I, when you, when you sit out 17 straight days of doing really nothing, yeah. um, it's bound to take you out of kind of what you do uh, from a conditioning standpoint, a just rhythm feel standpoint in a, in a, in a game being a, uh, being in these games, they move fast, they move, they move quick. And, you know, you being out of it for a little bit kind of gets you out of the rhythm uh, of the game. So, uh, so yeah, just, you know, making sure that, like I said, I'm just just trying to do extra stuff that gets me back to, to a game, game ready shape. And, um, you know, it's, and it's an extra level once you get to March and uh, just got to be ready for those types of uh, games and physicality. Right. Do you change your approach at all when you come off the bench? Uh, yeah, I mean, for me, yeah, I think I do. I think if uh, if I'm coming in for short, shorter spurts of uh, minutes and shorter span, um, you know, I really got to make sure that within that time frame, I just I go 110 percent every single time because I know I'm coming up eventually. So um, just got to make sure that you know from offensive end of the floor, just like I said, if you if if you get limited opportunities, you got to cash in on those those chances and. Um, always being ready to shoot, cutting extra hard, um, you know, just making plays for teammates that do anything that I can to get to steal some extra minutes here and there and, and help our team win. Yeah. It being February 25th, I don't know how many coaches really want to be juggling their rotations, their lineups, you know, this late in the season. If this is what your role is the rest of the season, is there anything kind of unique you can bring to that? Any, any kind of ways – your strengths as a player can really, really fit well into that, or is, is it all just basketball? Well, yeah, I, I think, uh, you know, my shooting ability coming off the bench is something that uh, I guess is a, a, a unique thing. I, I think being able to come in and provide some instant offense if I'm able to get hot um, is, is an is a attribute that, you know, we may need off the bench or, um, I don't know, getting stops, getting defensive stops or just – being an older older person on the team and having some experience in in March and you know Big Ten tournaments and whatever it is, um, obviously you know we have a lot of young guys who haven't experienced this this stuff before. So uh, you know making sure if I'm starting if I'm not just coming in and um, you know just just helping the guys in in terms of that and making sure that we're you know we're ready to go from the jump because anything could happen uh, in March. Um. Just Penn State, obviously, that was that was a tough game the first time around. This isn't a Sasha Stefanovic specific matchup issue, but just the importance of keeping them off the, off the off offensive glass. That was kind of a, that's going to be one of the big priorities, I imagine, right? Yeah, they uh, like I said before, they they're a really talented team. They got a, a lot of guys that could do a lot of damage from from different areas on the floor, and um, you know they really got after us on the on the glass the first game and. Uh, you know, that's something that we've been emphasizing here in practice that, you know, they kind of killed us on the boards and got too many offensive rebounds. And, um, you know, it's something that we got to correct and going into it, you know, that's, that's one of our, our focal points. And, but they're, they're a good team. They, they, they do a lot of different things. They uh, have a lot of talented guys that can get to the rim, can really shoot the ball. Um, so, yeah, we just got to be ready from the jump and especially on the road. I'm good. Thank you, Sasha. Thank you. Mike, do you have anything? Uh, yes, I do. Thank you, Chris. Uh, Sasha, just wh where have you seen Brandon Newman make the biggest strides uh, defensively? Yeah, I was going to. Yeah, defensively, he's been uh, he's been really stepping up uh, and being big for us. I, I think I think you saw it even in the Nebraska game. I think he did such a, a great job on Teddy. Um, just limited opportunities, just always being in the stands, being ready, um, ready for drives and making sure that you close out hard and whatever it may be, but he's been really locked in on that, that end of the floor. And it's really helped him uh, uh, kind of accelerate his offensive end of the floor too. Just, just being ready and just being, being into the game. Um, it, it really helps when you're, when you're locked in on the defensive end and uh, 
he's been he's been big for us. He's been uh, really working hard in practice at that that end of the floor, and it's shown off. What's to say about his play all year that he's been the only guy that started every game? Uh, I didn't know that. Um, that's 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 it's impressive as a as a freshman coming in. Um, you know, like, like I said, he's really just he's really taking the challenges that have been thrown at him. He's uh, he's done a great job of just um, you know accepting responsibility as a young guy and uh, guarding guarding those you know best guards or where, whatever it may be. Um, in the offensive end, he's given us a big boost and his shooting ability, being able to get to the rim, making plays for others, and um, yeah, it's that's that's huge. I didn't know that. Well, there's a little bit of qualifier there. You've had some guys injured yourself. Was you know you yep. were taken out. So I mean, there's there's an asterisk. Could be an asterisk there a little bit, but uh, anyway, uh, no. Th that's all I need. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. A anyone else for Sasha? Go ahead, Clinton. Thanks, Chris. Uh, hey, Sasha. Um, real quick, going back to what Dakota was talking about playing on the road and stuff. Do you have do you have a, a road gym that maybe you <clears throat> like shooting at more than uh, another, or do you have a least favorite one? No, not not really. I think um, according to my stats last year, I kind of sucked at them all. So <laughs> it is what it is. I don't know. I I, I don't mind. I think uh, it's been obviously different with no fans. Uh, it's kind of I don't know. There's no real advantage or disadvantage, but um, I don't know. I I, I don't mind. I, I love playing at like certain places. Like I obviously going to assembly is is a is a cool thing just because of rivalry. I mean, there's a lot. Of, all the Big Ten arenas are, are really unique and uh, fun to play at. Thank you. Yep, thank you. Ashlyn, do you have one? Uh, well, hey, Sasha. I just had a question about what's your plan with uh, Myron Jones. He's kind of riding a high after their win against Nebraska on Tuesday. You say Myron Jones? Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, he's, he's, uh, he's one of the guys that I was talking about. He could really shoot the ball. He's uh, – you know, he shoots it from deep. He's able to get to the rim. He's really good with uh, off of, uh, you know, his pull-up jump shot coming off ball screens. Um, they just run a lot of handoffs for him, a lot of a lot of actions that could get him easy shots. And, um, you know, obviously he had a big game uh, the other night against Nebraska. So, um, you know, just limiting his opportunities, making sure that we close out to him, uh, get a hand up on, on uh, any shots that he has, and just trying to make it tough on, on him all, all game. And, um, if we do that, you know, he's going to make shots. He's going to make tough ones, but uh, making sure that we're always there to make it make it uh, tough on him all night. That's all for me. Thank you. Anyone else? Thank you. Thank you, Sasha. Thank you.